More than a decade of planning, the Orange Durham light rail is not happening. The project would have made more than a dozen stops in two counties, providing more public transportation right here in the Triangle. CBS 17's Derek Lewis is digging deeper into the challenges the project faced. A GO Triangle board meeting gets emotional as members decide it's the end of the line for the Durham Orange Light Rail project. I fully believe that if we had the cooperative agreement with Duke University this fall, that we would not be having this discussion today. Board member Wendy Jacobs spent years working with others on this project. GO Triangle's president, Jeff Mann, says there are significant challenges in making the project come to life, including funding. This would not be so hard. It's been so, so hard because there's just not enough money. The board still needed to come up with $237 million by November to make changes that would meet the federal government's guidelines. I, I don't think I could really overstate my disappointment at this arriving at this place. Durham Mayor Steve Shule believes this is an enormous setback. Although the state agreed to fund $190 million of the project, that's three times less than its original agreement years ago. We are not going to be the state we want to be, certainly not the cities we want to be, until that changes. Uh, we need to have a legislature that will fund transit. The Durham Orange Light Rail project has come to an end, and the board will lose its $1.2 billion grant from the federal government. However, board members believe public transportation is too important to stop here. We've got to pick ourselves up and get our communities together and figure out how to move forward with public transit. In Durham, I'm Derek Lewis, CBS 17 News.